All right, good morning. It's Monday morning. Probably about 9, 15, something like that. Anyways, we're going to walk out here, do a little cold start on the 2013 Ford C-Max Hybrid. A lot of people have emailed and messaged me on Facebook about this car. And uh, I figured why not go ahead and do a video about it so some of y'all can see exactly what we got here. Now, I've got this car priced pretty cheap. All right, I think it's on Facebook for like 3,500 bucks. And personally, I think that's a good deal for somebody out there. This was my personal car that I drove for the last two and a half years or so. And uh, that car right there got me back and forth from Charleston to Myrtle Beach and then Myrtle Beach to Charleston every day, Monday through Friday for about eight months. I worked in Charleston still after I moved here with my family and I drove back and forth for eight months. Monday through Friday in that little car there. It's a great little car, got good gas mileage, and I'll tell you, it's still a good little car today. Now, it does got a little more mileage on it because I put a lot of miles on it in those eight months. But anyways, I'll tell you all about it on this video, so stay with me. It's black in color. It could use a little paint right here, right? That's faded. You know, so someone, if you just want to take a little time and give it a little love, you could, you know, tape that off and respray that black. It would look great. Um, it's a hatchback. It's got a little smart key with it. Hit the unlock, there you go, it unlocks. It's actually pretty roomy, I got two kids and uh, my kids could get right in. I drop them off at school every morning. It's got plenty of room to throw some groceries in the back. The mats probably can use cleaned up, but uh, there you go. If you're wondering where the actual hybrid batteries, batteries are at, they're under here somewhere, okay? They're under there. But I mean, it's in good shape. I mean, still got the plastics on it. That's where I bought the car, where I used to work at in Charleston. I mean, it's just a nice, clean car. But, yeah, the batteries are under here. That's where they're at. I think there's, like, four batteries right up under there. Back seats fold down if you need more room. I do not have the little cover for it. I do not have it. I never had it when I bought the car. So, it is what it is on that. You can order one online if you want. Um, it's an SEL package, which is a little more loaded up. It's got leather interior. Um, alloy wheels. Tires are in good shape. I mean, you got plenty of tread on the tires because I put those tires on there about a year ago. So you got good tires all the way around on the car. AC blows ice cold in this car. You don't have to worry about the air conditioning. Um, there's a door panel. The seats are in good shape. There's no rips in them. There's no tears in them or anything like that. Look at those seats. Nice, clean leather seats. Okay, another thing I like about it is it's got rear air in the back if you got kids or friends or if you're doing Ubering. I used to Uber in this car too. It was a great car to do Ubering in. Um, and you got right there a 110 volt outlet right there. Somebody can plug their phone in if they need to charge it up. Um, up front here, there you go. There's a dash. Nice little cockpit to sit up there and drive the car in, okay? There you go. So the back's got plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom up top. Here's the front of the car. You know, cars, for some reason, headlights get a little faded on them over the years. You can probably put a little toothpaste on there and shine them up. Anyways, but kind of a cute little car. Front end's good, though. There's no major dents or dings on the car at all. I started the price at 4800 bucks, but again, I've gone and reduced it down. A dog did run out on me on Highway 17 one night when I was driving home, and it hit the car right there, okay? Right there. So it did crack that that bumper right there on that spot. Okay? That's the only damage on the car is that little spot right there, which, you know, wasn't that big of a deal to me. I just drove the car to get good gas mileage. I mean, I like a nice clean car, but again, that one little spot right there from where a dog hit it, I don't know if the dog passed away or not. I hope it didn't. But uh, at me driving 60 mile an hour or 70 going down Highway 17, I can't imagine the dog living after that. But um, other than that, driver's side passenger side of the car looks good okay again there's the front tires plenty of tread on them okay good um brakes got done on it i don't know maybe about six seven months ago i had to have a get a i had to get a new abs module put in the car that was like five or six hundred bucks to do that so i did put some money into the car fixing that the abs module went bad um and when they did the abs module they said i needed brakes and rotors and all so i went ahead and did that too so we're good to go and uh, any car on the parking lot may have a little bit of surface corrosion or rust on the on the rotors from sitting out here you know with it uh getting wet and all that kind of thing but once you drive it that'll come right off okay but you got plenty of tire tread on the front all the tires are good all the way around okay 
Let's get in. Now, a hybrid car, a lot of people, it seems like, at least around out this part here in Long, South Carolina, where I'm working at, they don't really seem to be too familiar with hybrid cars. And they think something's, you know, they're bad cars or something. But that's that's not true at all. If you go to the city, lots of people drive hybrids and electrics. Um, now, this car runs off of gas and it runs off of, off of electric, okay? It doesn't plug in. There's the mileage on her right there, 167, 648. Okay, there's the mileage. When you when you get in the car, put your foot on the brake, hit the start stop button. She's alive. Okay. You will not hear the engine crank up or anything like that right off the get go because it is a hybrid. But after if you sit here for a few minutes, the engine will kick in and start running, um, and all that. Okay. AC does work. See, I cut the AC on, the engine pops on. Okay. AC does blow nice and cold. All the vents work. Everything moves properly. It's all good. Also got heated seats in here, which are really nice to use. Nice big cup holders. And at nighttime, there's some different colors in here. You can change them, but it lights up around here and over there and under the seats and all. And you can do pink, red, blue, purple, green. You got a little storage in there. You got two USB ports down in there and an SD card slot and a 12 volt in there as well. Okay. So, I mean, that's all your little, you know, uh, features on the inside um it does have entertainment you can do climate control right through here as well um you can connect your phone and do bluetooth audio bluetooth however you want to do that you can watch youtube in here or listen to a podcast and have it going through the speakers okay um so you got all that um it does have navigation as well let me just show you how that works hold on a second it says insert nav cd sd card but it will connect to the um, it will connect to the navigation if you if you do it. I just you got to figure out. I haven't done it in a while. I don't really use the navigation in the car too much because you know I would rather do it with the phone. This right here shows you how the uh, electric stuff works on the car. Again, I'm not no expert on hybrid cars, but I don't believe the batteries are bad on it. They're pretty good batteries still. You know, I was telling somebody else on the phone the other day ago, you know, if you need to replace the batteries in a hybrid car, the prices have gone down. I mean, I think you can get, you know, batteries and everything for around 1500 bucks, and you have many more years to go out of your car. And this shows you, though, how it, you know, what it's doing when it's running. See engine on, acceleration normal. I'm just kind of touching the gas pedal right now a little bit. But anyways, you can leave that on while driving if you want to see, you know, what it's doing. Um, glove box is right there. You got books and manuals, all that stuff. Okay. There you go. Only other little thing in the car that needs a little fixing is this little thing hangs a little low right here. See what I'm talking about? The little clip broke right there and it dropped down a little bit. Okay. It does have sunglass holders and you can change the interior lighting colors right up in there. Okay. Um, you do got mirrors with lights in them and you got handles on all window sills. You got microphones here, more lights there, more lights there. Home link here. Okay. So you got all that stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and crank the car up and we'll drive it around a little bit. I think I had it cranked up, but I'm just making sure. There we go. Okay. Right, just back her up. Now, for some reason, when the ABS module got fixed on the car, um, when I got the car back, the check engine light was still on right there. Can you see that? The check engine light was on. And it says that the oil change is due. Which probably is due. So the car probably needs an oil change on it right now. And I don't know why the check engine light's still on. The mechanic at the shop that did the ABS module told me to, uh, he said, he said, Chad, just bring the car back by here and I'll cut the light off. One of my technicians forgot to do it. And uh, I said, well, dude, I don't live in, uh, I don't live in Charleston anymore. That's going to be a pain in my butt, man. Why didn't y'all cut it off, you know? And uh, anyways, I lived in Myrtle Beach. So I have not drove back down to Charleston to get the light cut off. But that's what he told me. He said, that's why the light's on, because they didn't cut it off. When the ABS module went bad, um, check engine light came on. I don't know why, but they didn't reset the system. Um, could be for something else. I do not know, but the car drives out just fine. Um, that other little light that's on right there is for the tire pressure monitoring system, okay? So, you know, I'm not fixing anything on the car at all. I'm selling the car just like it is. So whoever wants to buy it can buy it just like it is, okay? I'm going to drive it down the road so you can see that it drives. I would have no problem with getting in this car and driving it to Charleston right now. Or drive it home every day for work. 
drives just fine. It's been a great little car. Plenty of acceleration too. I actually thought about keeping it and possibly just giving it to my daughter next year when she turns 15. Oh, I forgot to put it in regular drive. I'm in low mode. There we go. Oh, and the other little thing with it, it needs a blinker bulb on the right side on the front. So the blinker is blinking a little funky. I'm even going to put a little gas in it right now. All right. So that's part one to the video. Stay with me. We'll do part two here in just a moment. Go ahead and cut her off. Okay, here we go. Actually, while we're sitting here, no need to do another part two. Let's just finish this up. You got two screens right there. Okay. You can go through the system here and look at everything. You know, somebody mentioned about driving the car, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes away to a shop today to get checked out. I don't really think anybody should really do that or do it. If you do it, take it somewhere close to the dealership here where I work at. Because, I mean, I got other people looking at the car. I don't want the car to be gone a whole long time. And again, I mean, for around 3,000 bucks, I mean, geez. I mean, it's not like the car is going to break down and give you a problem immediately today or anything. I mean, any car you buy at any car lot could have some issues. But for that kind of money, I mean, just buy it. And, you know, if something goes wrong later down the road, then fix it. But, I mean, there's nothing really technically you know, all that bad with this little car right now. I know, you know, for a lot of people, it maybe scares them because the check engine light's on. But all I can tell you is just get in it and drive it. Don't stress yourself out so much. Um, you know, if you want to run down the auto zone and get them to plug it in on their OBD2 sensor and, and see why the light's on, you know, there you go. I was told it's still on due to the, uh, you know, ABS module thing not getting cut off. But I mean, who knows? It could use a little tune-up. Maybe it needs some spark plugs or wires or coil pack, who knows? Um, could be an uh, oxygen sensor. I mean, something like that. But the car drives just fine every day. I'm just running through this so you can see it. it. Doesn't really show you anywhere like how much battery life you got left in the car. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here, but there's just nothing really, you know, in there. Warnings, two warnings. Let's see what that says. System check. Low tire, right? But we don't have a low tire because tires are fine on it. Just need a tire tire system. And we got an oil change that's required. So, I mean, that's two things right there. Anything else was going on super major, it probably would tell me. Um, hit the back button. Fuel economy. Display mode. You got different displays. I like that, though. There's a lot of cool features in here, you know, that you can do. I like to leave it on the range. And over here on that screen, it does the radio and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, in a nutshell, that's my Ford C-Max. Somebody's going to get it for a good deal and be, have a, a great little car for the money. I mean, seriously, look at some of the other cars out there you can buy for around this price range. They are not this nice, and they're not going to save you that kind of money on fuel. I mean, honestly. I mean, what, you know, what little car are you going to get for that price range? You know, it looks this good, gets that kind of fuel economy. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've seen people selling some absolute beaters for 25 to three grand. This is not that at all. So I'm just trying to get somebody, get someone to buy it so I can move on and get my car that I just bought and uh, pay the little loan off I got with it at the finance company. And boom, you can take it, put tags on it and drive it every day of the week. There you go.